Hey, how are you doing? It's Tuesday, and I'm sitting at an impossibly long light that apparently is never going to turn green. I just left Golf Galaxy. I made a video in there. It's definitely going to have to take a voiceover because the music was loud. I figured with a store like that, there would either be like a museum-like hush or loud music, and there was loud music, so... I have to say, if you like golf, you better have a lot of money because everything in there is unbelievably expensive. I mean, I knew golf was expensive. You know, I knew that, but oh my God, just everything in there is insane. I cannot get over how much that stuff costs. Lord have mercy. I, I, mm. So anyway, I spent about 45 minutes making a video of golf stuff. The store is pretty good size. It's, it's pretty big. I mean, it's, you know, to just have golf stuff, and that's all it is. They have golf clubs. They have a little driving thing where you can practice, you know, try the clubs out. They have a little, some sort of service center in the back where they fix your golf clubs or do stuff to make them more expensive. I, I don't know what they do back there. I don't understand golf. Um, I remember my brother, now my brother played golf. He was on the golf team in high school. They had a golf team. I don't think that school has a golf team anymore, but they did when he was there. And I remember my dad raising holy hell over having to spend, I think the set of golf clubs was $100. And my dad raising cane over having to pay $100 for a set of golf clubs. Like, <laughs> shit. $100, man, you could barely buy the little towel that hangs on the golf the 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 golf club carrier holder doohickey now my god the golf towels in there were fifty dollars each for a damn towel it's a towel how fancy why are we still sitting here i'm at a stoplight and i had plenty of time to set up the thing to talk to y'all and we're we haven't moved are we ever going to move this is nuts but anyway, so I went to Golf Galaxy, and I'll have to do a voiceover for that one because, my God, the music in there was so loud. The clothes were super cute. I have to say there were several items, like in the women's section, the golf clothes that were really, really cute. Um, they had these Lily Pulitzer um, clothes in there, like tops and little skirts and things. Oh, so adorable. Um but the tops and skirts were like $130 each. Like, oh, no, hell no. I'm, I like them, but I don't like them that much. Um, and while I was here, I have a new prescription for glasses. And my, my, my vision insurance used to cover, Costco was in the network for the insurance. Well, apparently it's not anymore, and I didn't know. I, should, I guess I should have verified it before I went, but I've used my insurance there three or four times to get glasses for myself and my older son, and it's always worked. Well now, huh, surprise, they're not in network anymore because I couldn't get my card to work. And I thought, well, it must just be some issue, you know, whatever. So I just went ahead and paid cash, and I thought I'll just send them the bill. No, they're not in network anymore, and that's why my card wouldn't work, my insurance card. But I don't know, I, I still think I got a good deal. Let me tell you what I got. I got a pair of bifocal glasses. They're Kate Spade glasses. They're super cute. Um, with AR blue treatment, anti-blue light treatment, and edge polish. Those were $230 for those glasses. And that was that was like full pro that was the cash price without my insurance. And then I also got a pair of um, I got a pair of prescription sunglasses with DRW Polar TRN AR and Drivewear AR. I don't know what the hell that is. Those were $204, and then I got $40 off for buying two pairs at the same time. So my grand total with tax was just under $400. I didn't think that was bad for two pairs of glasses. Um, these are prescription, but I have had these for like, oh my God. I bet I've had these glasses 15 years, but they still, I love them. They still work. My prescription hasn't changed that much. This is my favorite pair of sunglasses ever, but I thought, you know, go ahead and get another pair because eventually these are going to break. Something's going to happen to them. 
Um, I love them though. I love them. This is my favorite pair of sunglasses and I would be very sad if something happened to them. But so even though my insurance, I'm going to, I'm going to send in the bill. They're going to reimburse me for part of it because they're out of network, but I still have out of network coverage. So they'll, they're going to reimburse me like, I think a total of $150. So, I mean, I'm not complaining, I don't guess, but I still hate my insurance. Um, I, I guess I should have confirmed whether or not they were in network, but they always were before, so I just assumed they were, but that's what happens when you assume. So anyway, yeah, I got my blood work done yesterday. It was very quick and easy. I was in and out of there in less than an hour as a walk-in. I didn't even have an appointment. So uh, that was, I didn't know how long I was going to be there, but I wasn't there long at all. I think it was like maybe not even 45 minutes I was there total. So, um, she gave me a refill for a month for my Synthroid, so I'm actually going to pick that up right now to get me through until my blood work comes back, because she's going on vacation, and it's actually going to be gone for like two weeks, so she said, this will get you through, and then if we need to change your prescription, you know, we can, so. What are you doing? You pulled out in front of me to just do that, aren't you just cute as hell, just right here so yes and I, I went to so while I was in Costco um, I got I got this big ass cooler I love it it's a rolling cooler it's huge it's in a box it was like $70 it's huge it's enormous and I got it for the fam the family reunion I have coming up next week or next week next month um, something to put ice in because one thing we've started doing we did it last year and I think we're going to continue it this year because people have concerns about COVID and stuff. Instead of having like two liter drinks and ice for the cups, we're just going to have like individual drinks like cans or bottles, bottles of water, you know, stuff like that, just individual drinks. So I have one cooler, but I wanted to get another one so I can have, and other people will bring coolers too with drinks and ice and stuff. So I thought it would be good to have another extra cooler and this one has wheels and a little carry handle thingy a little pull handle um seventy dollars i thought it was a really good deal i've seen similar coolers in like walmart and target for almost a hundred so i thought that was a good deal i got a big ass thing of costco toilet paper back there i've never bought costco toilet paper i have to see what all the fuss is about i know back uh, in 2020 when the pandemic first was declared People were lining up at Costco trying to get toilet paper. Like, what is so great about this toilet paper? Shoot. Um, fortunately, I got lucky in a way because I watched this one YouTuber who had been talking about, you know, there's a virus in China. This was back in January of 2020. There's a virus in China. I don't know what it is, but I'm hearing a lot of buzz about it. Um, you might want to prepare because I have a feeling it's not just going to stay in China. And, uh, you know, stock up now. And one of the things that I, I was advised to stock up on was toilet paper. <laughs> like this person's a prophet, man. So I, I did. I stocked up on toilet paper and all kinds of food products. I did not stock up on masks. That's the one thing I didn't do. I didn't think about that. But I had a, a huge, I, I had a bunch of everything else. So that was good. I never came even close to running out of toilet paper. So I wasn't worried about it. But I keep hearing that Costco's toilet paper is great because it's wider. It's like the width that toilet paper used to be, but it keeps getting skinnier and skinnier. Costco's toilet paper is supposed to have a regular width. So I have now basically, I don't know how many damn rolls of toilet paper. And I got some Nexus Humectris stuff, shampoo or whatever. I got my son, my older son, some sweatpants. Like, I just went in there to get my glasses, and I came out with $170 worth of stuff. And I got some random grocery stuff, too. So, I, I love Costco, but that's one reason why I don't go very often, because I always end up spending way more than I meant to. But, I got the initial video done of Golf Galaxy. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was an interesting store, but it's very pricey. Lord, if you want to play golf golly Pete get ready to spend some money it is nuts of course I'll, honestly a lot of that stuff you don't need it I am convinced that you don't need it that is a cool ass bike that was a neat bike 
It's like a fat tire bike. Man, that thing's neat. Um, yeah, you don't need all that stuff. I mean, the expensive clothes and all that. Yeah, they're nice, but I really don't know that it's necessary to spend hundreds of dollars on that kind of stuff. But, I mean, you can, if you want it, it's there. You can buy it. They'll sell it to you. But anyway, I'm going to go get my prescription, and then my son wants me to go to Subway, so i got to go to Subway, and then I'm going to go home. I have a um, video for today. This awesome subscriber from Germany sent me this huge box of goodies. I haven't opened it yet. This box is like 25 pounds. It is enormous. So we're going to be looking at that today. So I'm really excited to see that. Cannot wait to see what I got. So that's what's coming up today. And the Golf Galaxy video will probably be next week on the day that I'm going on the Triad Honor flight because I'm going to be gone all day. Um, probably not going to be able to make video that day. So I'm going to get that one ready to post next week while I'm gone. And it's just a one-day thing. It's not overnight or anything like that. We're leaving out early in the morning and coming back that night. So it's like a one-day thing. But I'm going to need a video to post that day. So I'll save the Golf Galaxy video for that. So I hope you are having a great day. I'm going to go get my prescription and some food. And I will see you later.